The fictional town of Cheesebridge is ruled by the fear of underground creatures known as box trolls. After the apparent kidnapping of a child by the creatures, known from then on as the Trubshaw Baby, the exterminator, Archibald Snatcher, strikes a deal with the mayor, promising to destroy every last box troll in return for a place in the city council or the White Hats. The box trolls, however, are not vicious creatures, but peaceful craftsmen who only venture to the surface for materials and found items. With them is a human boy, Eggs, raised primarily by the box troll known as Fish. As the years go by, more and more of the peaceful creatures are taken by the exterminators until few of them are left. As he watches his family disappear, Eggs becomes more and more convinced that he should do something about it, even if it means interacting with other humans and specifically with the mayor's daughter, Winnie. Once again, the first thing to note in this movie is its beautiful animation. Unlike Leica and Focus's other animated features, the Box Trolls does not take place in modern times, but rather in the 1800s, and this time period lends itself well to the handcrafted sets and gorgeous stop motion. These movies are getting prettier and prettier the more and more experience the company gets, and it's always a treat to see something different than CG. Tone-wise, The Box Trolls is not quite as adult as Paranorman, but still does not shy away from darker elements. Particularly noteworthy is its tendency to be somewhat grotesque, a term that might give the wrong idea. It is not so much a movie that panders to the grotesque, but rather it has a very Grimm's fairy tale feeling when it comes to its villains and lessons. Getting too much into detail would spoil too much, so I'll just say that small children might find some of the final scenes, and one scene in particular, a bit traumatizing. The characters in the movie are good. Initially when I saw the trailers, I was concerned about the box troll characters, but they are likable. If anything, I would criticize the film for not having nearly enough screen time for the titular characters. It's clear that the main characters are the two children, Eggs and Winnie, which is fine. They are also both likable. I just notice a significant lack of box trolls in the box trolls. The villain is a slight downgrade from the film's predecessors, but by no means bad. I do question his motivation, however. For the most part, his only desire seems to be to join the White Hats and eat fancy cheeses with the most powerful men in the town. So much so that he forces his lackeys to wear fake white hats and eat cheese so he can pretend, despite being devastatingly allergic to cheese. And all of that is great, it gives him some distinct personality. What I don't get is why he is then also building a giant death machine. For the most part, despite a few fun quirks and weird habits, the villain is just an evil jerk which is a bit disappointing after the terrifying villain in Coraline and the really sympathetic villain in Paranorman. In addition to this, there seems to be some attempt to draw comparisons between Archibald Snatcher and the main character, as well as integrating a lesson into the film. After this was so well done in Paranorman, the box troll's attempt seems a little clumsy. And really, the story itself in the box trolls is a little clumsy. It starts out very strong, but as it goes on, seems to meander a bit. It has some very good moments, but it's tied together with a lot of stuff that seems almost short of being fully actualized. The best moments in the film are actually at the very beginning, when we watch Eggs growing up with the box trolls. After that, the movie is still enjoyable, and oftentimes very good, but it also feels a little lost at points. Overall, it was a unique and beautiful film, with an excellent cast of characters and voice actors to do them justice. A lot of charm, and a fun story that falls a little bit short of the company's previous movies. Never seen one do that before. The Box Trolls. Off with the box. Mm -hmm.